Ladies and gentlemen, I am exhausted. I just spent the last seven days straight in Halo Infinite, and I've been playing with people in America. I've been staying up till two or three o'clock in the morning every night for seven days, while also working and bartending, and I'm exhausted. But I am here to tell you, this game is incredible, and this is not a video I thought I'd be making anytime soon. Halo Infinite has had a very rocky history. Season 2, I barely played. Season 3, played a little bit, but Season 4, and specifically the last like 7 or 8 days, it has gone through such a revival, and this cannot be overstated. I know a lot of people that watch this channel are a little hesitant towards Halo Infinite. Maybe you've been burned by 343 Industries too many times. Listen to this entire video, give me some of your time. And I am 99% certain that if you give me a chance and you listen to my whole argument, I think you're gonna wanna try Halo Infinite again. And let me know in the comments down below what your opinion of this game is, how often have you played, have you played in the last seven days, and what's your take? Let me walk you through the last seven days because it's been quite remarkable how much I played this game about I calculated maybe 36 hours with the boys and with some of the people watching this channel last night I, I can not overstate how crazy this has been like honestly my mental health has been great like I've been so sleep deprived but everything, I like the feeling that everything has fallen into place with this game after two years, and obviously my channels and my income and everything are intrinsically linked with that, but like, it's more than that. I don't want to be hyperbolic. I, I didn't want to say this statement, but after last night, I think it just finally sealed the deal. This is the most fun I've ever had on Halo, and I do not say that lightly. Like, Halo has been in my blood for my entire life. I just, the, the, as a teenage boy, like, the amount of hours I sunk into Halo 3 and Reach with, the, with my friends was, like, like, pretty much incalculable, but the last seven days, have been the most fun I've ever had on Halo Infinite. And I'm gonna talk you through the seven days briefly. I've got a ton of clips. Shout out to all the boys that helped me make the clips and also just played with me for 36 hours. And we're gonna go on a little journey. So if you give me a little bit of your time, I'm gonna talk you through why I think Halo is due like the biggest revival ever and with the right momentum, how it might actually be on top by the end of the year. So it's been seven long days in Halo Infinite and I got a little bit more sleep last night. I literally slept through my alarm, but yesterday I was just dying the entire day. I've had no sleep. And it's crazy to think that I would sacrifice all that sleep and some of my work for this, but Halo Infinite has surprised me so much the last seven days. Also, the title of this video is a little misleading. I actually spent about eight days um, in Halo Infinite, but I thought seven was a really good round number to talk you through. Uh, the, after the eighth day, I only went on and played a few games, but then the next day on Saturday, I was bartending, and the whole time, I just wished I was playing Halo Infinite. I just had so much fun the night before. So we loaded into Infinite that evening, and there's, there's just so much incredible gameplay like the chaos of squad battles is pure halo so it's the return of 8v8 on classic remastered maps hold on gotta make sure we get the believe sign in hcs 2022 baby we start our epic seven day journey on saturday the 12th of this month i logged into halo infinite to just i had been dying to play it all day at work just decided to get on i thought i'd play for an hour but here's the problem with playing in my time zone london ish at gm TBST. Everybody else is in America, so slowly, you're like, one more game, and then one of the boys logs on. One more game, oh look, it's McDonald Fork. One more game, oh hey, Dual Halo. And then it just keeps on going, and you don't get any sleep. Because I went to bed at 2.30 that night, after a full day of bartending, exhausted, but I just couldn't stop playing. My highlight, I got a clip of an incredibly chaotic flag run that I'll play. It's just ridiculous. CTF on high power is one of my favorites, but I capped in the last four seconds, took it to overtime and went to the final round to win it. It was so epic. And let me tell you, squad battles and BTB in Halo Infinite now, not only do they pretty much run buttery smooth from my experience, almost all of the hits register. Like it feels like a very nice cinematic game right now. And you play squad battles and it's 8v8, it's the return of loads of maps like Exile and Valhalla and it's just so good. Like, 
I could not stop playing squad battles that night. We played for at least five hours, non-stop, and there's only like four maps, but it was so engaging. Capture the Flag, um, King of the Hill, Slayer, they all work so differently, and the sandbox is so robust. I'm like, if this is ha if I'm having this much fun with a few game modes on four maps, what if they just import Forge maps of literally every single game map that's ever come out in any Halo game and variations with weather conditions like the possibilities for this game are endless. You're starting to find on Forge that if you search for like any old school map, and I'll get to the old school maps, when you search for them there's pretty much already like 10 entries and they're gorgeous. I'm, I mean... The possibilities of this game are endless. My Spartan started to have really good drip, and uh, you know, you still get glitches. It is Halo Infinite, but there are the funny ones. There's some of the funny ones. I mean, there are still some but issues. I'm starting to believe this is a fairly complete game. We move on to Sunday the 13th. I did another full day of bartending. I was up till 2.30 the previous night. I think I said 2.30. I was up till 2.30, and the next morning I woke up with about four hours sleep, went and bartended all day but I wasn't even mad. And that's the crazy thing, because like one of the things that always really irritates me in life is sleep. If I don't get enough sleep, if I'm lying there not being able to sleep at night, I get so agitated. And then the next day is kind of like, I'm in a bad mood for most of the day, but this was so different. I literally couldn't care less. I was stood there talking to like, you know, uh, the other, there's a lot of people that work at this bar uh, that are, that are like university students so i'm talking to like say say like a 17 year old and they're like oh yeah we had a we had a messy night last night in manchester like it got really rough i'm like i stayed up late playing halo with the boys till 3 30 and then they're like oh halo uh, yeah and then we just drop into a conversation i don't know about you but if you like like talking to strangers like I do, you find a lot of people like Halo. I have my Halo tattoos recognized all the time in public by all different ages, and they all have different like experiences that are intrinsic intrinsically lin linked to their age. Intrinsically linked to their age, um, like the older people I talk to, like middle aged, um, have so many LAN memories. At my age, it's Halo 3 and Reach with some ODST jazz in the middle. If the populace of the world starts playing Halo Infinite, there'll be millions of noobs to kill, and I'm all about that. The second day, it was me, Imagine Art, Zesty Bridge, and Audio JC. Shout out to all those legends. It was us four playing the Dredge 24 7 playlist, which is just the new uh, Dredge. It's a remake of Countdown. We were just playing playing that playlist non-stop for like about three or four hours. And I'm telling you, we got like one loss. I've always loved playing Halo, but I've always found that com chatter is non-existent. I'm always the guy who's like, oh, guys, make sure to check your teammates and find, you, find your friends and, and focus fire and mark your locations. No one ever does it. But now, like, especially when you're four players on Halo Infinite, it's so fast paced and the marking system is awesome. The player highlights are awesome. You can just See, seamlessly, seamlessly communicate with everybody, and it feels so great. Also, we had a, a color scheme on Dredge. Uh, anytime we play Dredge, we're like, put on the Dredge suit, and we, we go with the Arbiter's Guard coating. It's a good one because it was free, so everybody that we play with has it. Right, so we head into Monday and Tuesday. I sort of paired them together. Going into those day three and four, I have some highlights which I'd like to share with you. So day three, CTF on Valhalla. Let me tell you, these maps, like... What 343 has essentially done with the game is given the players the dev kit. Like, they truly have. The masterpieces that people are making now in Forge is is kind of like, it. it's invigorating to me because I'm like, I don't know of any other game out there specifically. I mean, there's no other game that is like a first person shooter that has that kind of dev kit. It's insane. Just given to the fans. King of the Hill PvE in Season 5 and then full Firefight PvE in Season 6, which... Oh, like six months away, that'll just be a little bit into next year. Ah, I'm excited about this game. I'm so, like, I'm so excited about this game. That CTF on Valhalla, I had, like, the most exhilarating time with the skewer. And as I die, I finally see that Wraith explode. It's very satisfying. We went on to cap the last point and win the game after that. And then we moved on to Slayer on Waterworks, another big highlight from that evening. And in that game, I just had Hornet and Wraith just absolute superiority it was it was incredible the vehicles are starting to feel really well balanced now There's still a little bit of damage that needs to be figured out but then hijacking of uh, the warthog particularly and the ability to switch seats and then punch people out is just insane day four was a lot of the same and i think the highlights from the ctf match on high power really summarized just the chaos of this game
for Halo to start being what I've always envisaged it since Halo 4, because like I enjoyed Halo 4 a lot. I think a lot of the public opinion of that is changing now for the good. I think a lot of people respect the story beats of Halo uh, 4 and, you know, obviously not the art style for a lot of people, but I've seen a lot of people defending the Storm Covenant these days. My entire adult life, I've not been able to see that potential fulfilled until the last week. For a Halo fan, for Halo Infinite to take six years and then come out and and not work at, at all. BTB was broken for a long, long time. For the for the for the payback for the for the comeuppance, is that the word? <laughs> for the last week to see this game franchise actually achieve the vision that I've always seen for it, particularly Halo 5, didn't hit its mark for me at all, um, and Halo Infinite came out, I loved the campaign, but gosh, the multiplayer was just awful. I mean, we saw that the screenshot was shared yesterday of the original Halo Infinite, was 4 um, modes, and one of them was Bot Bootcamp. Halo Infinite has come so far, and um, to see it like it is now, and to play for seven days straight with the boys and have so much fun, it is just, it's very validating to, to what Halo players have been going through for years. Now this was where my sleep deprived head was really starting to get a little fed up of the situation, but I I, it's, I never planned to make this video, by the way. I never planned to make I spent seven days on Halo, but it just came to me slowly as I was like, I, I didn't even plan to do seven days. I didn't plan to do seven days up until the sixth or seventh day. Like this is just, <laughs> this just happened to me and I have to tell you about it because this is real, I don't know, it's really important to me and I think it's really important to a lot of you. So listen up everybody, we headed in to Wednesday. So this is like probably day four or five. I mean, on the calendar it's day five, but maybe it was six at this point. And then on the fifth day, we moved into Flood Firefight on MCC. <laughs> Play most of the evening in Flood Firefight, and it's insane. Like, I don't know if you've played Flood Firefight yet. They extended it to eight players on MCC. There's no reason to believe we won't get Flood Firefight in Halo Infinite eventually once they bring in PvE. I reckon they can mainly just port these models in. They're so good in Halo uh, MCC. Playing round based Halo 3 ODST Flood Firefight with eight people is just chaos. Like, it's pure chaos. And the Flood are so, like, like they, they, they move so fluidly. If you took little old me from when I was like 13 or 14 or whatever, when I was playing Halo 3 ODST for the first time, and you pop me into this, I'm like, there's no way. And then you tell me that it's all the games, all the Halo games on one disc. Ha, oh, and they're all in just gorgeous resolution like I used to play on a tiny little monitor. I couldn't, I wouldn't have believed you. I would not have believed you, but you should always believe. I have a little clip here of Red Construct, shout out to him on Instagram, getting through the final wave, being the last man standing, and it's, it's literally amazing. The way you can move the camera, so cinematic. If I had the time and the resources, and if these kind of videos do well, I could make some crazy montages. I really could. We also had a tournament uh, on that evening. Uh, I decided to pull out one of my rare codes for an action block armor coating. Congratulations to McDonald Fork. You have some drip, my friend. Thursday uh, was the day that I was like so sleep deprived and I went in um, not planning to play. I, I wanted to just do one game to scratch that itch and get out. And I ended up in what, like six hours. It's so addictive, both of these games now. In my opinion, so addictive. And look, I know you probably, like, I don't know if anyone that disagrees with, with me would have even got to this point in the video. But I don't know. I'm not coming out of nowhere here. This game feels really, really good right now. The next evening, we played something that I cannot even believe is Halo. Night of the Undead.
That's not Halo, right? That can't be Halo. That is like actual Call of Duty, Nacton Tonton, on legendary difficulty. Those zombies get faster and more health the further you go. By round 14, they're fully invisible. <laughs> and you have the perks, you have Pack-a-Punch, you have the mystery box, everything is there. It is genuinely Call of Duty zombies. It's just ludicrous. So we had some amazing times on there. And I did not plan to play that evening, but I got on and then it was one more game and one more game. People kept on logging on. It's like, oh look, one game at Strandy, one game at Zandril. People keep on being added. And these are also friends that we've had on Xbox for years, but have taken, like we haven't talked to them in a year and a half. And then they'll join the party and they're like, yeah, I kind of heard Halo Infinite was good again. And then just right back in there. Brought us through to the final evening where I promise I was so tired. I'd hit 50,000 subscribers this week. Also, congratulations to myself for that. 50,000 subscribers. Uh, I'd hit 50K and I was doing a 50K celebration live stream and everybody wanted to play Halo Infinite. It was one of the highest viewed and definitely the most comments we've ever received on live stream. So shout out to everyone that joined. And then we played Halo Infinite after with the people who had been watching the live stream and it was so insanely fun. But the standout part of this live stream and why I decided that I had to make a video today was Sand Trap. And we were literally in the lobby and one of our friends was like, hey, search if they have Sand Trap. And of course they did. I feel like if you search any map now, they have it. And we played Sand Trap and it was on a mode called Halo Classic. And it was just Halo 3 movement, weapons, vehicles. Like some of the encounters we had were just remarkable. Roll the clips. <laughs> I'm just a simple guy, and I love Halo. I always have, it's always been with me. I, I attribute so much of my life to it. And the last week has been so incredible. Like, I don't remember really ever staying up till past 1 a.m. for seven nights in a row, unless I was a child. Everyone has different sleep patterns, but that like that's just not for me. But like burning through that and being so sleep deprived and exhausted, but still having the greatest time, has meant so much to me. So if you haven't been convinced already to just give Halo Infinite another go, just go and do it for the Domizzle, okay? You'll have a good time. Like, this game is exceptional. It is best played with more people. Uh, if you just play on a sweaty lobby with people you don't know, maybe not as good of an experience, but to have this moment where uh, the boys are all coming back and like, I used to, when I used to launch uh, Halo, like Xbox, I would invite my group chat to a party. For the last couple of years, one, two people would pop in and out and like maybe we'd play a bit of season two or whatever. But now it's like I send an invite at the beginning of the evening and five or six people are joining. And it, I have not experienced that in so long. Like I genuinely feel like I've suddenly like reconnected with so many people. And um, we're going through this shared experience, which is our love for Halo. And I think like final validation on like this game starting to get really good. Um, and my message to 343 is as it was last time, keep on going, like keep on supporting this game, make it your 10 year game, make it your no man's sky, deliver, 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 free event after free event after free coating after free vehicle and just keep on going, build momentum, like you can do it. Halo has the most insane potential of like pretty much any video game. It is beloved by generations of people and it has so 
much versatility with the sandbox. You can do anything. You can bring in weapon molds of every single Halo game. You can import every single weapon, every vehicle. You can have playable elites. You can have playable ODSTs. We can do practically anything with this. It was clear that it launched in an unplayable state and the slip space drive didn't perform and now they're moving it over to Unreal Engine and like the potential is there. We can do this. As a community, we can band together, we can make Halo Infinite work, we can bring Halo Infinite back to the pedestal that it was and Halo Infinite still has a long, long way to climb, but it's out of beta. Shout out to Mint Blitz, you are the god savior of Halo. <laughs> like you literally have brought this community through this and with a successful game comes success successful merchandise and successful TV shows and movies and spin-offs and popular media and Halo Legends Season 2 and whatever we want. So let's keep on going. This has been the most fun I've ever had on Halo Infinite or the most fun I've ever had on Halo for the last seven days straight. It has been remarkable. So this has been Halo Boy. Please do go check out Simon Says, my second YouTube channel. I'll pin it at the end on the end card. It's where I do most of these kind of discussions and I'd really appreciate you there. But let me know down below, what is your experience of Halo Infinite and can you give it another go? Have you played over the last week and what's your opinion? As always, you stay awesome, you stay safe, folks. And the domain is signing off. <laughs>